my brother and I decided not to eat for 85 hours straight just to see how far we could push our body and our minds. Joshua might die, but... All right, guys, so, uh... Joshua, I'm breaking the fast. The no caffeine fucking blows. I might go for five days. We've always been very mindful about what we put in our body, but Gary Brecka and Dana White inspired us to do something that other people think is crazy. Someone definitely called that alone. For sure. Like, I had to, like, lay down for a minute because I physically, like, couldn't close my hands. And while most people think it's insane, they really just don't understand the benefits. All right, this is a little freaky. You're a fucking liar. As humans, we've been programmed to eat. This is our journey of 85 hours with no food. You're a fucked up at that. I'm already feeling the benefits. I already feel it. I'm already there. But it takes 48 hours to actually get in the fast, just so you know. You don't eat for 24 hours and I have a fast? No, 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 no. No, what? You said Bro. 48 hours is only 48 hours of fast. degree, right? Four to eight hours. Oh, four to eight. I thought you said 48. You talked too fast. It was four, four to eight. eight. Or do you not listen fast enough? No, no, he doesn't, he doesn't talk right. Joshua weighed in at 219 and I weighed in at 202, but the first 24 hours is literally a breeze and it only gets harder from here. The mental clarity you have on the fast is undeniable. I've been riding a high all day. Tomorrow is for sure the grind. I'm even worried about day three, like lunch. Like before you even get to the dinner to officially make it three days, that's what I'm really worried about. I might go for five days. The hardest part about going on the fast is I'm doing a no caffeine. So it's like, I'm doing these four days with no caffeine. That to me is the hardest part. All right, coming up on almost 48 hours in the fast. I'm telling you, it's fucking hitting me, it's hard. My head doesn't hurt, but my head feels very heavy. I feel very weak, a little shaky. But now I have to go to a work dinner. So hopefully they don't order any food. Hopefully it's just like drinks, maybe some appetizers that I can say no to. But if they order the steak, bro, Joshua, I'm breaking the fast. When I got that text from Zachary, I was pissed. But that's why you do a long fast with a partner. Because I would have given him so much shit if he would have made me do that alone. Survive. No food. I wanted food so bad. Joshua talked me out of doing it. But man, my legs are heavy. My head's heavy. I just want some food right now. This is, I just got to get through tonight and get through probably breakfast, then I think my mind will turn off with the food. Sometimes the things that suck the most when you're in it are the best things for you in the long run. Coming up on 50 hours though, your body's going through changes. This is uh, the number one key to making a fast easier, smoke some weed. Outside, this is about how I feel right now, like shit. Zachary's hurting a little bit. I'm feeling okay. I am definitely hungry. I'm not hurting. I'm actually better today than I was yesterday for sure, which is kind of what we remember from the first time. Definitely looking forward to, to breaking the fast tomorrow morning, tomorrow afternoon for sure. It's like right now it's Christmas Eve for us. We just want to fucking open up the gifts. Doing it the second time has been easier because it's like mentally you just have to get over the hump. You can get over the fact that you're not eating. That's the biggest part. When you get into multiple days no eating, it's very important to stay hydrated. So focus on drinking electrolytes. You can honestly trick your mind into thinking this zero calorie drink is a meal and you just keep pushing. I'm ready to eat. It's not like starving, but I, I'm so weak and tired that I didn't know eating will like make me back on top. And I was thinking about this earlier. The three day fast, you don't feel good during. No. It's like the week after the fast, yeah, you, you feel, feel great. great. Yeah, yeah. Like it's not during. That's like, I hate when people go, oh, I feel great during that. I'm like, you're a fucking liar. Well, we're about to go to the gym later, and I'm like, all I can think about is hitting the grocery store. Well, I might die at the gym. A few moments later. Joshua might die, but. <sighs> all right, guys. So uh, I just did an arm day at the very end. Went 14 minutes in the sauna. Shouldn't have gone that much. Should have learned my first lesson. I felt like I was going to throw up when I was in there. <sighs> So now we're sitting outside in LA Fitness. Like I had to like lay down for a minute because I physically like couldn't close my hands. Like my hands felt like I was losing circulation. I've never gone into shock, but it felt like that's what I was going into. But I fought it really bad. I was like, no, you're good. You're good. I was deep breaths, deep breaths. Like I was telling myself I was good. But what got me was the cold shower. That cold shower like sent a shock through me. It's literally what it does. And it fucked me up. Honestly, I was scared. I was at the store about to check out, getting ready for breakfast tomorrow, ready to break the fast. I had to drop everything and run out the store. Someone definitely called that one. For sure. Oh, there was, there was one over there. Yeah, it was right. It was literally right there. All right. Thanks, guys. Of course. Thought they were coming to arrest my guy. 
thought someone called 901 on me. <laughs> hey man, this is what happens where you're pushing your body to the limit. I was saying to Zachary, it's like, I love UFC. There's guys that are like about to die on the mat and they turn it around and end up winning the fight. It's all about mental toughness, bro. You can fight it. You gotta just tell yourself you're good. I'm feeling fucked up after that. I'm not gonna lie to you. It was a pretty scary situation for about 10 minutes, but I calmed myself down and we made it another night. After 85 hours, we did our final weigh-in. Joshua lost nine and a half pounds and I came in 10 pounds lighter. It's very important when you eat your first meal to be very, very cautious that you don't overeat. Our favorite meal after a fast is eggs, avocado, and blueberries. It's a great way to walk in the pool. It's starting to feel a little bit better. I was, I've been tired all day, like really fucking tired. Zachary went and played basketball with Gary V today. He's probably hurting. I feel like you feel good. I'm tired, but I feel fine. Like, I feel good, but like, I, I feel a little beat up. Like, this time we didn't use any bone broth. So, you can tell, like, I was a lot more tired. We didn't use the bone broth. It's not about the, how the fast makes you feel in it, it's the aftermath. And if yeah. you made it this far, drop a like, leave a comment, subscribe. We're going to be doing more challenge videos. We're, I think we're starting to figure the vlog out a little bit, all right? Little so, bit. we have better content on the way. Check out the podcast, and we'll see you next time. And don't forget to watch the lead scenes at the very end. This is the most douchebag mouth voice thing we've ever done in our life, this selfie. The whole time in my head, I was legit like, why the fuck am I doing this fast? But I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm fucked up. But hey, got the 2Z follow and my passport today. So, honestly, not the worst day. Not the worst day. I never had to tell my dogs that we on roof for greatness. They pay for kiddies, they want money more than they want fake shit. I swear we go so hard, we on A-list. I see my niggas prevailing. We going hard for the hand. We gonna stack till we jaded. I just told my niggas that we on a mission. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's gonna be hard to get it. We doing part for the missus. I put my heart on my feelings. All tracks